everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a list button. And then after we create this list button, we're going to go ahead and map it uh, to a lower third. And we're going to map it to our boxing fighter lower third with images. And then we're going to map this specific button to the uh, name of fighter one. And let's just go ahead and load a list to show us uh, how we can do that. And we're going to choose one of the lists we've made in the past. Select that. When we select that list, you can see that the information is auto-populated. But what happens if there's a name uh, left out of the list? Well, what we can do is we can add that name on the fly. And uh, what we'll do is we had an open space there. So we'll just go ahead and click on it and type in new fighter and then we'll reposition the list so that when we activate it you'll be able to see it let's go ahead and clear that quick hitter number two lower third and we're going to bring in the fighter with images and uh, from the drop down menu we're going to uh, select the new fighter and you can see that the fighter one or the red fighter changed to new fighter and we're going to go ahead and select the correct fighter for that image and let's just go ahead and get rid of that widget that we created and go up to the one that actually belongs in this particular layout. And right there is the information that this particular list widget is mapped to. Boxing Fighter Lower Images uh, is the one that we're going to be demonstrating today. And then we're going to show how to add that uh, new item on the fly. We're going to call this the same as we called the other one, New Fighter. Now we go back down to the drop down menu, click New Fighter, and you can see where it changed to new fighter and we'll go back and we'll change it back to what it was previously okay now let's take a look at the red fighter images button we'll click on that and there's the information that it's uh, mapped to boxing fighter lower images and then the red fighter images which is also fighter one and you can see three images that we currently uh, have in that list and click on the drop down menu select one of the images and you can see where that image changed on the red fighter. And we'll do it once more. And you can see again uh, where the fighter images uh, changes back. So let's look at the blue fighter. It's pretty much the same thing. It's the same input, but this time we're mapping it to blue fighter image. And we'll show you a couple of examples from the drop down menu for blue fighter image. And as you can see, we click on the image and the fighter image changes in that lower third and we'll go ahead and switch it back. Well, how do you get these items in the list? Well, we're gonna do it just very simply using Notepad. So let's just go ahead and open up our Fighter Images folder, and we're gonna select uh, some images at random. We'll go ahead and click on that one there, and then we're gonna click on Copy Path, and then we're gonna go back to our Notepad document and right-click and paste. And let's go back to our images folder, select one more, copy path again, find an open area, right click and paste, and let's go ahead and find us one more fighter. Let's go back to our fighter images folder, scroll up a little bit, and let's go ahead and take that one right there. DeMontez Duncan, click on that, copy path, find an open area, right click and paste, and that'll be good enough for this example. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're just going to call it Fighter Images for Test. And save. But one thing that is very important here is you have to remove those quote marks from where it copies the path. So we'll take the quote marks out at the beginning of that and at the end of it. And then we'll go ahead and save it. Um, I've pulled my hair out before because I haven't removed the quotes and it's like I know I've got everything set up right. Why aren't these images being displayed? That's the reason why. Make sure you go back and take those quotes out. Now we're going to go back and load that list that we just created. And there it is right there. Go ahead and click select. And then let's go to the drop down menu. And you can see those three fighters that we just added. There's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one, DeMontez Duncan. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to add another item to the list. We'll click the plus button there, and that's going to create a line at the bottom of our list. And then we're going to go back to our Fighter Images folder, select another fighter, copy the path, go to that open line, right click and paste, and we'll go ahead and click OK and uh, close this list out. And then go to the drop down menu and there's that new image we just added and you can see in red fighter or fighter one that new image not everyone feels comfortable uh, with data sources and this is an alternative to data sources it's a way to bring large amounts of data into a graphic without having to make multiple uh, different graphics first of all we're going to show you the graphic that we created in gt title designer now we're going to go to the main, main vmix production and we're going to right click on the title and that's going to bring up the title editor and that is showing you the information that's actually being brought in uh, to this graphic what we're looking at here is the information that we've populated into the list button uh, that we made and i'm going to show you step by step how to make that uh, later on in the video you can see as we choose different data from the drop down list how it, uh, those changes are reflected in our graphic there and this is how the uh, graphic is mapped we'll go into that in full detail in just a moment and in the green you can see the data there and notice that they are separated by the pipes or bars it is very important that that table box is checked uh, because the way this works with the bar separated data it reads one piece of data and then goes to the next piece of data and to the next piece of data and if you do not have that uh, that box checked it's going to put all the data uh, in the first data field okay so now we're going to create the list button and we went up to our um, widget menu and we just clicked on list and that is going to be our list button we changed it to an orange color with the drop down menu and now we're just putting it where we want it we're going to make one more button and this button here is going to allow us to get rid of the overlay so uh, when we're scripting this button we're going to go to overlay input x and then we're going to pick the uh, input that we want and then the overlay channel that we want and the other button that we're going to use is the ndi monitor button that we've used several times uh, you can check out episode two. Uh, go, this goes into a little bit more detail in episode two, how to use the NDI monitor button. But that's what we're creating now. And that's just so that we can see what's going on in our main uh, vMix production. So that's our output right there from our uh, main vMix production. And now we're going to go ahead and script that button. We're going to go to overlay input X. And then we chose our input and then overlay three. So when we click it once, it comes on. We click it again, it comes off. And uh, that is a very handy tool. It allows us to toggle uh, that on and off. OK, now we're going to begin the mapping. And what we're doing is we're going to pull this same input in five times. And we are going to map it to a different title uh, in that input. So the first one is going to be position. And then we're going to bring it in four more times, all looking for the same input. This one is going to be number. And then we're going to do first name, last name. And the last bit of data that we're going to bring in is going to be college. And now what we're going to do is we're going to load a list that we uh, populated a little bit earlier uh, with some uh, information. And there it is right there, football test for UTC. Let's go ahead and click on that and then click open. And that's going to bring the information in uh, that we prepared a little bit earlier. But we can always add information on the fly. Let's just click the, the plus button there. It's going to add a line to the bottom. And now we're going to add one more uh, group of data. Quarterback number 18, Peyton Manning from the University of Tennessee. 
and see how easy it is to add something on the fly. We're going to click OK. And now it's going to appear in the uh, drop down menu. But this is the point I wanted to reiterate. Make sure that you check that table box there. Because if you don't, it's going to read that first piece of data and put everything uh, in that first mapping field and go no further. So make sure you have that table uh, box button checked. So there we go. We have all the information in there for Emmett Smith. We choose another item from the drop down menu, Lamar Jackson, and then another one, Peyton Manning. Well, that's our episode for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Please subscribe so that you'll be alerted when new episodes are posted.